Well, I'll come over to Stockbridge Plow Match at Sutton Scotland. Zero out of ten for signage. Off the, sort of the main road. This tiny little sign missed it completely and turn around and come back. So as you told here, it's probably a vintage class. I'll get I'll try and get a program later on. See who's who. I think it's gonna get better later on. Hopefully. Supposed to be sunshine. Hopefully it's gonna get better. Hopefully that wet stuff will stay away. Little old grey Ferguson T20. Suppose now here they keep going. Uh, have a bit of old Ransom plow here. Ransom's a very popular plow, which, which have been. All the weights on the back to keep it in the ground. A few bits I haven't seen on a plow before, but this piece here, obviously for lateral movement. But anyway, we get coulter disc and skim. That's the skim which takes the top off the um, soil as it turns, takes the rubbish off and dumps it in the furrow. Then we have the shear, YR42, mole board, that's the breast, mole board, sometimes called, called a turn furrow. Then we've got to stay on the back, that's the back stay adjustable, push the mole board in or out. Uh, hello. I'm just looking at your plough. Pardon? I'm just looking at the plough. That's fine. Yeah. I just had a look at that one over there. They're all different, aren't they? Oh, yeah. That's the land side. Makes a nice neat edge of the furrow. Should keep it in line. Everyone's marking out at the moment. Getting ready to start. Putting their pegs up and checking them. Very important the first turn, the first pass across the field is important. It's got to be straight. And it's called a veering. You open up one furrow, turn it one way, then you come back and turn it, turn a furrow the opposite way that leaves a, a trench down the middle. And this, this opening. Opening is worth 10 points, a uh, maximum of 10 points. So it's got to be straight and it's got to be clean. You can see his mark on the other end he's going for. This one started off with a slight kink, not good. I always used to put two pegs up, one Oh, it's on the far end, the one in the middle, and keep them both in line all the time. Just got the back furrow in the ground, back shear. A lot of them, well, after they've been judged, when you come back, you've got the opening, and then it'll be judged by the judges, and after that, they can, they can start plowing. I'm just going to show you I know who's who then. We mostly vintage tractors. I'm told there's a class of vintage open class and also um, members class. This one, there is, he's done his first run down. Looks pretty good. Turn it back and turn it out the other way now. If we can get going, there's a new, few haven't started yet. Mm -hmm. All right now, I know who's who. It's quite a nice clean cut there. So we're just coming back, turning the other way. Class. One, number one to six, one to seven, are um, mentioned the main players, members only, and this is number five.
Well, there's an opening finish, I would say that's a bit deep. But we'll see. He rolls it down and flattens it a bit, might be alright. As I say, judges will come along and judge these openings now, after which they can start ploughing. Um, maximum of 10 points, I think. Also, I see here a minimum depth of 4 inches and a maximum of 7 inches. Another rats and ploughed. Here the bench door. This is, this is a, a semi-digger. That piece on the front. There's an extra piece that, that um, but it breaks the ground up, breaks the fire up a bit. It's also got skims not attached to the culture discs. It's okay if they're set up properly, I've got to be very accurate with them. The John Deere tractor here. That sounds nice. It sure looks reasonable. I don't we haven't. Not had enough rain to make it stick yet, which it will do in this area. I see that's two of the judges there. Super major, but it's like a bit of a power major because those the handles on the bonnet are wrong. Super major had bigger handles. The wheel weights. I'll take a walk up to the middle now and and they'll look in that way and I can see a stand of fortune up there, there's some old stuff about. Well, this is a horticultural class, I've not come across one of them before. No reason why not though. They're all full of plow. No, it's only a single, single furrow, like that one. This is a little messy Harrison. A, a trailer plow on. This is a ranchman plow. Spitting and banging a little bit. The original. Can't spend nothing else. Absolutely original, what the heck? These are very long, old wolf. These are designed to turn very slowly. A horse bears up. More wolf like that. Over slowly and keep it together, keep it, keep it intact. Well, trailer power for same principle. Take a full of rope or something to get out of the ground. Nice and straight, that's the main thing. And the sun's come out. Massey 3. Massey Frozen 35, I think. The early one. Looks like a good old workhorse. He's got a trailer plow on too. All the adjustments are within reach of the driver, the handles. Ranch and Sims and Jeffries, Ipswich. So this old fortune got an alternator put on it. And there. Air cleaner, modern air cleaner. I think it might be a diesel. Yeah, it's a diesel engine. Some people do that. Bad. Ain't too bad. It's only a third time I've had 
done with trailer play, so oh, yeah, happy with it anyway. Yeah, so. it's true. Yeah. What have you done today? So, um, yeah, it was, that's all it was, it was just for that. As a gift, isn't it? Well, oh, you can't not. And I thought, well, I love my plough, and I thought, well, I can have the plough. Well, I've got a lot of trackers at home, and I'll, I'll try and get one again. Oh, it's nearly 10 o'clock. I thought they would have started. There seemed to be some debate about who started them off. The judge said it wasn't my responsibility. It's got to be the steward. But nobody, nobody started flowering yet. Oh, the Messi version 35. Got a few new parts on it. New starter motor and solenoid. Sounds nice though. Yeah, it's all general opinion seems to be that it's going to stick today. It's just a bit damp. It's a nice original T20 Ferguson. I don't know if we seem to start it yet. I don't know what's the matter with them. Um, I'll get something to eat while I'm waiting. Very good opening, straight. Pretty straight, should shut up quite nicely. You see, this is a six cylinder diesel engine, a standard forcing. Well, looks like it's just beginning to start flowing. Uh, one or two on the move now. Be turning over quite well. Mobile will be clean. Have a look. And John Deere 1630. Uh, straight there. Ah, international T275. I drove a 250 years ago, back in the 60s. This was a slightly bigger, bigger engine, I think. Weather's brightened up now, it's, the sun's come out a little bit. The forecast was good anyway. I'm going adjustments, but just right. I'm going to go back and check the other side now. You don't close one side, you're going to go back and close it together. Very important for the crown. Too long adjusting to be in a little job. Just asked them what that play was it was the cover and thought my good brother. I think they made special match plays. Too much called the two bar play elsewhere. Quite nice, burying the rubbish and stubble. It's breakfast time, hot dog. Not bad either. Yep, I've had my lunch now. Wander back along the line and see what's happening. Who's doing what? 
this chunk and pressure taking it down apart. Should we move the move the moldboard back a bit? Closure. <laughs> That's alright, no problem. Quite nice. Quite nice shot there. Made quite a nice job too. Number number five. Nice bit of ground there too, it's, it's turning over and it's not sticking. Very nice. Nice clean edge of the furrow. Full double berry. Pretty straight, it looks good. The number six there is not making a clean edge to the furrow, it's, it's crumbling. That needs the, the adjustment of the disc coulter, which controls that bit of it. This one hasn't quite matched up. Uh, he's not matching up, he's a bit shallow. Especially that side. That would be alright, but it's got a bit of stubble stick up in the middle. There's points for that. Otherwise, not bad, straight. Petrol engine in there too. I used to be petrol TVO. Not sure what they run them on now. Massive 135, that's what I looked after. Very smart. These two pedals here are independent brakes, so when they get round a bit quickly, Hold one or the other down. That breaks that wheel and makes it turn easier. That's the driver on the right. The lady, the lady. You don't see many women playmen, play ladies. I believe you flowers nowadays, like bat, not bat, but batters. Silly term. That um, frame on top with the weights in it is fairly standard. Ran some flow. The original part generator started the motor not been changed. Obviously fitted with a with a fallover as well when need be. That's nasty. I I love my flaring like the, the, the saw stuck like that. Not for the draw really. Actually, the rain can change so quickly in this part of the world. Even so, he's making quite a good job of it. The trouble is when the, when the dirt sticks on the mold board, it just pushes it across until the turning it. You wouldn't know by looking at it. Just measuring across. Number 13, that's a nice bit of work too. As I've seen today, almost dead straight up there. Nice clean edge to the furrow. So number 15 hasn't turned up, so 14 has had to make this extra um, furrow, which is beneficial. At least you keep it straight. If you don't, it's your fault. I think this looks a nice job here. Yeah, that's good. Nice clean furrow. Got a little bit of straw in the, in the center where he closed the opening. Not bad at all. And this old detour made a good job too. Just a moment. He's done his three turns around the, around the veering. 
Yeah, it's pretty good. He's got cast out to this one now and he's got a bit of a kink to get it. He's a kink the wrong way too. Number 21, he's quite a nice bit of work. Same as, he's got a kink in it as well up the other end. There he's quite a nice bit of work that. Maybe a bit deep, I don't know. It's pretty near the maximum. Turning a little bit of chalk up, it doesn't give away. Okay, should we get the bend out of this? One or two haven't turned up today, 22 is missing, so 21 is going to have to strike out across the field. He's reached quite neat, but the, the crown in the centre there is a bit high. Of course, every onlooker on is an expert. Comes to do it, doing it yourself, it's not quite so easy or straightforward. Well, at the end of the reversible players now, there's one, two, three, four, five, I think. The usual practice was to have a, a tapered piece of land, so they had to make a head in it, but these look parallel to me. Three fifty. I drive adjustment crossways. Got a disc on the back, but not any more anywhere. I think that's important. Keep the fire clean. Job. Yes, nice. Straight too. The train finishes at 1 o'clock, well, between 10 past 11, so it's plenty of time. It's quite nice and straight, that is. This is the side that counts between his, his, his uh, start and his finish. Not his, his mate side, that's irrelevant. This one too, it sort of looks a bit better here. It's nice depth, it's turned over, it buried the rubbish, the stubble. A slight kink in it. Yeah, this is the one that with the crown in the centre is a bit high. Okay, another lady competitor here. A very nice tractor too. It's all sticking a little bit. Pity. Her, her dad had that from you. 
working on the farm ever since. Win the best turned out tractor anyway in the Ferguson class. Hold on. Actually, up quite nicely. That's got Ferguson plow on it. Not many of them there anymore. Mostly ransoms nowadays. That's a Ferguson plow. Oh, that's it. Hey, a Ferguson up there. There again. Not a bad job. Measuring up. This bay is running quite clean, which is nice. Also made a nice job too. Number 26. Job and he said it now it's running, running clean, that makes a big difference. I just said to him, it's, you know, down the other end, it's, it's sticking to the moor boards. It um, makes a big difference. Luck of the draw, really. There's that six cylinder diesel. Conversion. The boy term of the trailer play. Make a nice job too. It's not a standard fortune but more conventional. Where you stand on one side, lean on the wing, and see so craning your neck. That diesel engine fortune. And you made quite a nice job. Twenty-four. That's it, please. Do some good work up here. Push up this top end. is going better than the bottom. Both mold water rain clean. As I say, luckily the draw, the ground varies too much. In Hampshire, especially. I suppose it's the same all over the country, but certainly Hampshire. I played Hampshire ground and never the same twice, never the same in, in 50 yards. I'd be happy with that, but mine. Oh, 
have a little bit of stubble sticking up on the crown where we started. Pretty good. Good job too. Very nice. Straight and it's turned nicely. I'm going to measure up, make sure. Okay, getting the finish right is important, very important. I should have too far a plow. Over there, getting all the trophies ready. Presentations. Number two finishes well. You with a shout. Back again, they're saying. Huh? Running from that the top. Alright. Who's sticking down the bottom there? Yeah. Well, we can talk about when you're finished. That's a little horticulture tractors. Oops, I've got to put it right in there, finished. Number two again. He's, he's well in with a shout there if he can finish off nicely. I think this one will have a problem. Can you see he's got a bit wide this end. That's nice work too. Number four. It's all down to the finish now. Getting that width right. Good work too, number five. I don't know if it sticks down here, they are making a very good job. bit now, the fine adjustments. Getting the mud out of the skin. Oh, it's on the, on the wheel. Yep, 
from the flame out there range is it'll take a lot of beating but I think this is better for the moment Crucial. In danger of leaving two wheel marks here. Yeah. You're only allowed to leave one wheel mark on one side. So we've got to finish it though. That's where the skill comes in. Even it exactly the right width. It's been 15 minutes since then, but fiddling about with the adjustments. He's matched up that side all right anyway. You've got nine minutes to get up this end and get back in again, or will you get a time? I think if you're in the ground on your last pass, when time's up, you're okay. It's alright, I think you can get away with that because I move on. Number four, it's a bit deep to my mind. I reckon you've got two minutes to get back in the ground, otherwise you'll be out of time. I'm trying to finish, but he's, he's out of time actually, it's about ten past now. Anyway, you can pull out a bit deep. I think I've got two to a little too. If you like this video, why not give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon. Leave a comment. It's absolutely free to do so. I never ask or seek financial help.